Oh, wait, that's Jimin. That's Jimin with the heli. <laughs> Today, we got BTS fake love. Now, whenever this song came out, I remember like hearing clips of the chorus and stuff like, it's like, fake it love, fake it love. That's the only part of the song I know. I just remember when this came out, people in my school were going crazy just singing this. Not like everyone in the school, but like a good amount of people who are BTS stands or armies were going crazy over this song. So I only really know the chorus and only that part. Fake it love. Um, but hey, it's time to get into this. You know what I'm saying? It's time to get into this. Five minutes, five minutes to 18 seconds. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of new army you know, uh, subscribers, so thank you for subscribing, and I'm excited for this. I'm excited. I'm still, like, I'm still having trouble remembering their names, though. Like, it's always boy groups that it takes me a good while to remember. Hold on. The silhouettes? Okay. Okay. Fake love. Oh. Yo, 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 yo. I, as I said in the beginning of the video, I only remember this part, but I don't, I don't remember the song like sounding like this. This is completely different than what I expected it to sound like, based off literally just remembering "Fake It Love." Yo, this is starting out really, really good. I know when it comes to BTS, like, when I first started, I was like, you know, they're cool. But I'm starting to grow and grow and like their songs more. Some of the songs that I thought were decent, they grew on me. Like, Mic Drop definitely grew on me. And I have to react to the Steve Aoki version because I know I reacted to the wrong version. But this song right here started out beautiful. And these dudes look at crispy. Yo, I like the, whatever it's called, the highlights he has in his hair. Yeah, look at this boy, RM. This for you, yeah. If you hear, if you hear in the back, so, yo, I just cut off him rapping fast. If you hear in the back, there's like a dum -dum, dum -dum, like that just adds to the song. Like this, yo, just hear. And he's like rapping to that. Oh, wait, that's Jimin. That's Jimin with the heli. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, look at this boy Jimin, bro. I recognized him by his voice immediately. Oh. Look at him. Perfect. Yo, look at look at his eyes and everything is just everything's just reflecting. Hey, 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 for all you new armies. When it comes to boy groups, I always have to pick one member that I deem as the perfect man. You know what I'm saying? As the perfect man. And this, <laughs> Jimin to me right now is the perfect man right now. Unless I react to more MVs and one of the other members starts staring at me like... Then they might have to be the perfect man. But so far, you know, this dude Jimin, this dude's perfect. You know what I'm saying? If you want examples of other perfect perfect uh, members in other groups, Hyunjin from Stray Kids and Felix. They, they got two. NCT, we got J, uh, J, J, J Hyun. I, I call him Perfect Man so much that I forget his name. J Hyun. And, uh, but yeah. Insane. I grew a flower that can't bloom in a dream. Oh my! Oh my! Oh my! Yo, look! 
Yo, now this dude is fighting for the spot. I forgot his name too. Yo. <laughs> bro, I really need to like, you know, get the step in and learn these dudes' names and, and faces, bro. Because I'm like, I need to keep reacting to BTS. Look at this dude right here. Perfection. This song right so far, just a minute and 56 seconds in. Already definitely one of my favorite BTS songs. It just sounds so good. What a pretty life for you. Make me your doll. And that guitar. Are those phones? Oh my gosh. Wait, hold on, hold on. Is this... Is this... I'm, I'm gonna make a guess. Is this Suga, August D? It sounds like him. But... You you say I'm unfamiliar, changed into the one you used to like. Wow. What are the vocals? Hold on. Snicker bars. Yo! Yo. <laughs> yo, it's like BTS traveled in the future and was like, yo, wait, the Sav Guard is like iffy on us? Let's prove him wrong. Like, oh my gosh, bro. Like, every, like, oh my. This song is amazing. I think the reason why, like, I'm so, like, excited and hyped is that, like, I, as I said multiple times in this video, like, first reacting to BTS, like, the first couple times, I thought their songs were, like, they're pretty good. But, like, as I keep continuing, yo, their songs are super, 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 super fire. And by the way, I checked real quick, that was Suga, you know what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Hey, I, hey, I'm doing better. But this song right here... It's going on the playlist. Okay. Okay. I'm liking the alpha. You're the alpha. This stuff. Sand. Oh. I definitely have to watch this video a couple times to like really get the video. That will open a passage? That shot is crazy! Oh my gosh! Yeah. So bad. Yo, this is so good. Yo. Yo, oh my Save me Yo, this silhouette stuff is some of the dopest stuff I've seen I could, For you, I could pretend like I was strong when I was hurt Jeez, bro Yo, that's a little relatable, you know what I'm saying? A little, little relatable You know what I'm saying? Some people like to, you know, pretend Like they were shot, especially, especially us men, you know what I'm saying? Since we live in a society where, you know, men 
putting out their feelings or talking about their feelings is looked down upon. Um, you know what I'm saying? There's obviously some people or some organizations about, you know, men's mental health and stuff like that. But when it comes to, you know, most men, um, they like to pretend they're strong when they actually hurt, you know what I'm saying? And it's kind of sad, you know what I'm saying, that men are looked down upon. And I'm not saying that other men, uh, the only reason that men, like mental health is looked down upon or, or men speaking out about their health is looked down upon because they're seen as like a baby or whatever. But like, some some females will also see that as a red flag, you know what I'm saying? Or, or you know, you can't be hurt. You have to pretend like you're strong, you know what I'm saying? For me, for me, like, no, bro, no, bro. If that if that if that applies to us, it applies to you too. I don't want to see you crying. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to see you crying to your girl best friend. No, you better, you better, you better. You know what I'm saying? No, like I don't want that. Like people want to talk about their feelings. People want to let it out. Let it out, bro. Pause, but let it out. You know what I'm saying? Like I feel like there's a lot of things in life that are that aren't taken seriously, and I feel like there's a lot of things in life that are taken seriously when they don't need to be taken seriously. But hey, hey. <laughs> we're not here to talk about that. I wish, I wish love was as perfect as love itself. I wish love was perfect as love itself. Like that is, because basically what I'm getting from that is like when when people who aren't in love or whatever picture love, they picture it as this beautiful thing. You know what I'm saying? You have a significant other, you you're always happy and stuff like that. But then when you actually get in, like, in love with somebody, there's a bunch of flaws in a person and you have to learn how to deal with that. But there's, there could be a lot of complications in a relationship. So to say, I wish love, which is the reality, reality of love, was perfect as love itself, love uh, uh, of what we imagine it to be. That's what I'm getting from that. That is insane if that's true. <laughs> Yo, I just want to apologize, you know what I'm saying, for, for thinking that, you know, BTS was, were just good. They're amazing. I know that, or I knew that when I get into more and more of their music, my mind would change about them. But when I reacted to Mic Drop for the first time, not the Stevie Oki remix and Boy With Love, I thought that the songs were, you know, they were good. Um, same thing with Fire, same thing with Black Swan. But um, I needed that, that BTS song that will be like, okay, boom. This is going to cement them in my eyes as a really, really, really amazing group. This song definitely has done that you know what i'm saying and i've and i've re-reacted to a couple songs like boy with love and my drop not re-reacted uh re-listened to i said earlier i still need to react to the stevie Aoki remix but the the version i did react to re mic drop is a song that i really really like now and boy with love i'm still i'm still getting there um but other songs like idol 2 and butter those are really really amazing songs i have to re-listen to black swan a couple more times but my like love for bts is just growing rapidly i'm not gonna lie and this song might be that song that has pushed me to really really want to get to know these dudes because this song is amazing like i said in the beginning i've only heard the fake love and i thought this song was gonna go in a more poppy direction just based off that this is a completely different thing that i did not expect and i love that i love that this song i think it's my favorite Nah, I'm gonna say second favorite because Mike Drop, as I kept listening to it, I yo, I loved I just love that song a lot now. Um, but this is definitely my second favorite. Really, 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 really good. I'm excited to continue this BTS germ journey. I hope you armies could continue to, you know, push me into the right direction and, and recommend me songs, videos, and different things like that for me to react to. Someone in my previous video said that um because I said that BTS, they don't really release a lot of music. That was just in my eyes, you know what I'm saying? Because I didn't see a bunch of comebacks happening from them. But they actually do release a lot of music. They're just on like a, not a hiatus, but like on a sort of break. Um, so now, I, I get it now. Um, hey. I'm, hey. <laughs> I know, I know to some of you, you know, me not liking some of the songs. Or me thinking some of the songs are okay. You might not like that. But hey, I, it's starting to grow on me. It's starting to grow on me. And I'm glad 
that I can continue because, yo, BTS are insane. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed.